We took a plain screen curtain and made it marvelous, all for the love of a country house. Here, kitty kitty. This is our back door. It doesn't have a screen, but luckily there's a solution for that. Now we have a screen curtain and here I am attaching it with the tacks that came with the kit. And it became a really great dog door and I taught my dog to go through it. But it was kind of plain, so we decided that we would embellish it with these appliques that we found online. And there were so many different kinds to choose from. You'll find it takes longer to pick some than it does to put these on. We used Aileen's Fabric Fusion. We squirted it onto the back and spread it out with a brush, which we had to throw the brush away because it hardens pretty quick. And then we just pressed them into place and we put half of the bees on this side and half on the other side and matched them up perfectly. We tried this glue also on those three-dimensional ribbon roses. We found that the Fabric Fusion worked great for the flat bee patches, but we had to use a super fabric adhesive for the ribbon roses, and that worked fantastically. It has a really good grab. So we used a craft stick to put a little dab of glue on the back of the ribbon roses and held them into place for a few seconds, and there it did. It held. And then we reached through and put a matching rose on the back, and we just put plenty of roses up at the top and then fewer down at the bottom around the bees until they were just sort of floating and drifting. And now when you go through the door, you see the exact same pattern on the other side. And don't worry about those little glue strings, those will pop right off. And for the bottom, we found this thrifted skirt and we cut off that beautiful trim because it looked like it was going to be perfect to, clo to cover that little gap across the bottom. So all we did was just cut this trim in half and we measured where we wanted to attach this, these ruffles and we pinned all the way across where it would line up. We had to ruffle it a little bit to get it to fit perfectly. And then all you need to do is use the adhesive to attach this, or you can hand stitch it the way I did with matching thread. Now I've got this really pretty ruffle at the bottom too. And we like this door a lot better now. We all hope you like this video, really, really like this video, as in make the little thumb turn blue when you click on like, and visit our channel for more with love for a country house. Click on the Sun logo to subscribe.